want to see how I got this moisturized style that lasts for weeks? Then keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cree, and today I'm going to be doing a moisturized, protective style mini twist on my natural hair. So I haven't washed my hair in a month. I'm going to go ahead and detangle off camera, then I'm going to go ahead and wash it. After washing, I put the deep conditioner in and I'm setting it with the blow dryer. Please excuse me, I was so tired because I was up late doing my hair last minute. Okay, so my hair is all rinsed out. I'm getting ready to start the styling process and prepping my hair. If you have been watching my channel, then you know my favorite products are the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Line. I'm using the leave-in conditioner, and then I'm going to seal it in with my oil mixture. I will put the links to my products in my bio, so take a look. Okay, so it's super late at night. I am twisting my hair up so I can get ready to do the banding method. The banding method just allows for me to stretch my hair without using heat. Three braids and then making up one section. So this is what it ended up looking like. I ended up using two hair ties for each section of hair. Okay, so I got the two sections done and now I'm just going to hurry up and finish the rest of my hair so I can get to bed. Okay, so I'm all done with the banding. This is what it's looking like. Now I'm getting ready to go to sleep and I'll see what my hair is looking like tomorrow. So as you can see, it's the next day and I'm taking down my hair wrap. Unfortunately, I couldn't quite show you guys the results of the banding method because when I took it down, my hair was still damp and usually I would just leave it in for the rest of the day. But since I had somewhere to go, I had to take the bands out and use a blow dryer in order to stretch my hair so I could start twisting it. But yeah, with the banding method, all I would have done was taken my hair down like this, except it would have been more stretched, and then I would have combed it out, and it would have been ready for me to start twisting. But I reached for the blow dryer, and I quickly realized I was going to need something else to help stretch my hair. And dun dun dun, dun I used the Rev Air. It's like my favorite blow drying tool that I have ever used on my hair. When I say it can give me a light blow dry, it can get it super straight if I wanted to. It's just perfect. It's like so convenient to use. Um, but for this style, I was just aiming for a light blow dry. I didn't want it bone straight. And I was just saying right here that my hair felt super soft. After 
I use um, Rev Air in between, I will comb out each part just to make sure it's stretched and didn't have any tangles. It does require some arm strength to hold that thing up. The nozzle, when I say my arms are getting a little tired, <laughs> but I was making it through. What my blow drying is looking like. It's fluffy, it's pretty stretched out, it's looking pretty good. And I'm getting ready to move on to the styling part of my mini twist. Okay, so these are the products I'm using for my mini twist. I'm using the Elastic QP Mango Butter Moisturizer as well as the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Hair Smoothie. And I'm using my homemade flaxseed gel as well as some oil. Okay, so I'm getting ready to part. I'm putting my hair in four major sections and then I'm using smaller sections but I'm starting in the back. Each part does not have to be straight in the back. I did use a mirror though just to take a quick look to see how things were looking. When I do my mini twist, um, I use double the product so I apply it first uh, before I blow dry and then I apply it again while I'm twisting the hair this just makes sure that the hair becomes very moisturized and soft and it locks in the moisture for the entire month that I'm wearing the style so I'm making sure I'm layering my products I'm starting with my creams and then I go ahead and put my oil and I coat it with my homemade flaxseed gel. The flaxseed gel just helps to lock in the moisture and gives the hair a slight hold to it so it can last longer. take a quick look at the back of my head as you can see the parts aren't straight um, because I want to make sure there's not going to be a gap in the middle of the back of my head and this is especially where the middle part is finished up the back half of my hair and I'm getting ready to move on to the front I think the back so far has taken me probably like three and a half four hours usually I will make my mini twists smaller but because I was short on time I made them slightly thicker the smaller the twist the longer they will last Mini Twist is a style that I've used several years throughout my hair journey and I have seen a lot of progress in terms of hair growth. It really helps to protect the hair so it can grow out. In order for my edges to look very neat, I end up flat twisting the braids in the front. And if you have watched my other mini twist video, you will notice that my hair looks slightly shorter. And that's because number one, I have cut my hair recently. And number two, the gel does cause some shrinkage.
Okay, so I'm on my last twist, and here are the results. My hair has came out so neat, moisturized, it's soft, it's going to last for the month. I'm so happy with the results. This now took me a total of around 6 to 7 hours to complete. Okay y'all, so here's me with my makeup on. I was ready for the party, feeling cute. You couldn't tell me nothing. We didn't feel nothing over me cause a love like this takes some time. So I am nearing the end of this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys love this tutorial, feel free to comment. Let me know your thoughts if you would try this out. And stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like the video, and I'll have more videos coming soon. Thank you. Bye.